Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brendan Plays, and we have done it. We have conquered 10,000 subscribers. I honestly cannot believe it. I'm lost for words. I mean, if you had asked me, you know, told me a year ago that, hey, you're going to have 10,000 subscribers midway through 2014, a little bit past midway, but, you know, I wouldn't have believed you, man. I honestly would have never expected my channel to ever reach 10,000 subscribers at all, like, ever. And to have done it at this stage of the game already is amazing. It's unbelievable. I really cannot thank you guys enough for supporting my channel. And um, I wanted to do a little bit of a milestone video. I didn't do one for 5,000, didn't do one for 1,000. In fact, I've never done one at all. So this one's kind of been in the works for a little bit, but uh, it may not interest a lot of you. So I hope it does though. But um, for me personally, this is what really interests me. So. Um, I want to talk about the history of Brennan Place, how it all came about, just discuss, you know, all the kind of things I had to overcome over throughout the times of making videos and some of the things it takes and some of the things it requires to be a YouTuber. You know, a lot of people probably think it's very easy, but it is a very time consuming and a long process to get videos out and sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go. So. Uh, we'll get into that and I just want to kind of talk about what it's like to be a youtuber in my perspective I know it's a lot different to other people's, but this is what it's like to be one for me So let's get straight into it. So Some of you guys don't know I actually had a channel a long time ago before I even got to Brennan plays so Brennan plays Started in 2013 January 1st 2013 is the day I made this channel So the first year first day of the year is when I started up but I actually had a channel made in midway through 2010 and that's when I bought my first capture card. I bought the whole Pog HD PVR and uh, how that all came about is I was watching Machinima videos. Back then Machinima was the big thing and uh, I was a Call of Duty guy. Yes, I was a Call of Duty guy. Uh, I played Model for too, too much. Uh, it's a ridiculous amount. I played that game so, so much. Loved the game. And I saw some people making videos on it. And I had a little bit of an interest in making videos beforehand anyways. I was kind of making some screw around videos, just some dumb kind of stuff. But um, ne nothing ever serious. And I never incorporated any voice or anything. I just kind of put you know, like a little crappy soundtrack over it. So this was my first real attempt at wanting to make videos properly. And I saw people doing commentaries on videos. And I thought, hey, I could do that. You know, I can... I might sound interesting, maybe, I don't know, maybe, we'll see how we go. And I uh, bought a, well, I got a, my first P, uh, HD PVR for my birthday, and I just kind of went from there. I honestly had no idea how to do it. I didn't know, I was kind of just searching on the fly, you know, how to, how to make videos, and I was kind of finding out all these different tips and tricks. And after about a month of having the PVR, I got my first couple of videos out, and you know, my first commentary out, and uh, it was horrible, it was dreadful, but um, I was playing Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, I remember it, I was playing on the map of State for you COD guys, and uh, I don't know, I don't know what the scores. I think it might have been like 45 and 5 or something, I was pretty proud of it, so I wanted to showcase, I just kind of wanted to shoot the breeze, you know, talk about whatever's on my mind in the gaming community, and I had a lot of strong opinions on a lot of things in gaming community, and I still do, and I just kind of wanted to share those opinions on Call of Duty itself and um, other games and just kind of use Call of Duty as a backdrop in some instances. So that was kind of like my style while I was planning on doing, you know, I'm not a funny guy by myself. When I play off people, I personally think I can, you know, crack a couple of laughs, but I'm not a really funny guy by myself. So I knew that wasn't my kind of route to take. I had no real in interest in kind of like analyzing the game and breaking down the game and finding the tips and tricks. And I had no interest in reporting news because to be honest, why would you believe anything that I report, which is why I don't do news now on YouTube and I think not to knock other YouTubers but I think doing news on YouTube is you know about you know you could just make up anything and you know you kind of I don't know I personally believe you're lying to your subscribers a lot of time is very misleading tags misleading titles and I cannot believe anything that a YouTuber puts up as a video you know saying oh look at this this is coming out look this is what's going to be in W2K15 I would disregard that and I would skip over it because I couldn't believe it so, unless it comes from a source that I already found credible, you know, I'm not going to believe it. So, I really find it difficult to kind of believe any YouTubers because of, you know, the, the cheap styles and the tactics that are employed now on YouTube. But back then, 
you know, things were more legitimate. You know, this is 2010. Money wasn't really involved just yet. It was just coming in when I started. And, uh, you know, I thought, well, okay, if I can make some money, that'd be cool. But it was never really my goal. And um, my whole kind of purpose and goal on YouTube was to be a machinima partner. You know, I heard about the machinima partner program and it was difficult to get into, but I wanted to get my videos on the machinima channel. It never happened and I never actually got a machinima partnership, but um, that was my goal. And uh, I kind of strived towards achieving that. Really, uh, it was never gonna really work because straight away my current up uploading schedule was one video a week, a lot of the times one video every fortnight because my computer was so terrible it took honestly it took like 10 hours to render any video and they were only like 10 minutes long plus you know my upload was terrible as well so it took another like 12 hours just to upload a video so it was a one day process just to get one video out so you can just imagine all the time just waiting around waiting for your videos to get online so it was just a tough process but it was so much fun I just loved making the videos and you know they were really for me and I didn't have that many viewers and realistically any subscribers I got weren't really active because I was kind of just really promoting my videos on other forums and just trying to get my name out there any way I could possibly could and I was just kind of trying to network and really kind of find my way and find what I was good at and I thought I was making good quality content I look back now and it's horrible but I actually thought I did make the odd good video and um, you know I was a little disappointed that I didn't get the views and and I didn't get what I really wanted to achieve out of YouTube so in the I guess fast forwarding a little bit I was kind of getting a little bit more in inactive my interest in the game started to drop off uh, once Modern Warfare 3 hit I really lost a lot of interest in Call of Duty I had branched out and put Battlefield and Medal of Honor and some other games on my channel but I was just trying to find me and I couldn't find me yet so I was doing, still doing the Call of Duty thing and I, st I wasn't watching wrestling at the time I stopped watching wrestling from about after Wrestlemania in 2008 to the first week or two of 2012 I got back into wrestling and I was loving it uh, I still didn't know how wrestling all worked and everything like that so kind of finding out all that was a lot of fun to kind of find out how it all worked and learn more about the business and so I was really just an idiot I didn't know really anything probably I don't I still don't know anything you know what the fuck do I know um, I have an idea of what goes on but I don't really actually know what goes on and nobody really does unless you actually work and have been there so um, yeah so I just had a real big interest in kind of finding it all out and you know watching wrestling in a different perspective compared to what I was doing when I was about 12 years old so when I was 12 I was watching the characters I was watching the, the wrestlers I, you know my favorite wrestler was like Cena, Batista, Triple H guys like that just guys I could look up to kind of like heroic now I kind of like watch wrestling for different kind of aspects it's more like a I don't know, it's just kind of like a, it is a soap opera, it's, it is, you know, kind of soap, a lot of storylines drag me in, keep me interested, and the wrestling itself doesn't really interest me as much as it used to, you know, a pure wrestling product doesn't interest me, I, I, I like wrestling matches that have meaning, that have a storyline behind it, that have a purpose, and when you just have a straight 30 minute match between two guys that has no storyline behind it, I could not care less. But if you have a 30 minute match between two guys that have been, you know, battling it out for eight weeks prior, you know, on Raws and Smackdowns, you know, you know having this storyline behind it, and I'm going to be invested in it, I'm going to watch that. That's the, So that's why, you know, to me, I can't watch Independence or anything like that, because most of the time they don't have a lot of storyline behind it. So that's why WWE really, in my opinion, is such a, a giant in the wrestling business, because they've just kind of really capitalized on that key uh, fact that plus their wrestling product pure wrestling product is still top-notch as well in, in my view so anyways so I got into wrestling I actually had made a couple of wrestling videos on my old channel so I made two videos and they were I think they're over the rope I called them over the rope so there was like a little bit of a news video I do like 10 minutes or 15 minutes of what's been going on in the week of wrestling I did two of those and they actually did okay they weren't the worst videos but really uh, what kind of stopped me from doing them is because I got a little bit of flack at it from people that I knew personally and they were kind of like oh why are you watching wrestling why why are you doing wrestling videos so I kind of got that little bit of a negative feedback and I was like uh, maybe I shouldn't because you know I still 
you know, it's a funny story. I actually um, used to put on a stupid little accent. You know those little accents I kind of do in the like promos that I try and put on this stupid American accent that doesn't really sound anything like it at all. I used to do that all the time in my old old videos because I was afraid of people finding out about my videos. I didn't want anyone to find out, and still I don't tell anyone that I make YouTube videos. But um, it's not a big deal to me. I don't. I just don't want a big deal about it. I just kind of want to do it on my own little personal thing. Just kind of keep it quiet. So that's why you're not going to see any face cams from me. It may change in the future. I may decide to do face cam in the future. Um, but if you think I'm a big fat guy that just lives in his mother's basement, that's not quite true. But um, yeah, so I kind of stopped the wrestling stuff, and you know. I wanted to kind of keep doing Call of Duty and Battlefield and first-person shooters because my best genre is first-person shooters. That's where, that's my, you know, that's what I love. But now my interest for those games have really died down. So going back and trying to play those games is almost impossible for me. So I was looking for a new thing to do. The wrestling videos had a bit of success. I enjoyed doing it, but I just didn't keep at it. So really, I kind of struggled away, trying to force myself to play Call of Duty that year, and I couldn't. So... I basically stopped uploading, it came to the point where I was doing one video a month and um, I just couldn't get into it anymore. I was really losing interest in YouTube and I had been going at YouTube for two years and I only had gotten 600 subscribers. So you think about it, in a year and a half now I'm at 10,000. So beforehand I was going at it for two years. Mind you, not as many videos, like I think I got like 250 videos all up in the two years but still I, it was a long time I invested into it and um, I really didn't get a lot back 600 subscribers I was proud of those 600 subscribers but it really I didn't get a lot of comments I didn't get a lot of likes in my videos it really felt as though I didn't have any subscriber base at all so it got to the point where I was just about to give it up I thought well okay I tried you know my channel I've been going at it for two years I really gave it a good go I just this community, Call of Duty, is too hard for me to break in. I can't find another game I enjoy that I can see myself doing videos on. So I'm probably going to give it up. And then um, I started watching WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. It was, funny enough, Tubby Emu. Yes, Tubby Emu. I started watching his 2008 series, and I loved it. I don't know. I, I really never thought about doing WWE videos whilst I was a wrestling fan. Like, I did the couple before, but after that, I never thought about it again. And um, I just loved it. I thought, well, I could do that. Well, why am I not doing this? This looks awesome. This looks heaps fun. You know, play an old game. I mean, this is one of my favorite games that I've ever played, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. And on General Manager Mode, my favorite game mode ever. Why don't I play this? This sounds fun. It can be a series. I can do something with it. Let's do it. And I thought, okay, let's do it. I'm going to go get it. Went to the shops. Didn't have the game. And I thought, you're kidding me. So I knew if I was going to get the game, I had to buy it online. It was going to probably take two or three weeks to get the game. So I was like, ah, oh, I was so pumped to do it. Well, what about I do universe mode? You know, I, I just got WWE 13 for Christmas. So this is a couple of days before Brendan Plays was born. So I just got WWE 13. I thought, well, I'll do universe mode. It's a good supplement. I know it's not GM mode, and I know there's no brand split, but I'll try and make it as though it's like GM mode. I'll try and re replicate it. I'll try and turn it into a bit of a GM mode. And that was kind of like my plan with Universe mode. I wanted the G I wanted that Raw versus SmackDown feel that you got from GM mode. I wanted that ratings war without the ratings. I wanted the, you know, this show's better than this show. I wanted that war in amongst it. So I was so excited to bring it. And, you know, I didn't know how to do it. And I just kind of went with it. I just kind of went with my gut feeling, put it out there, see how it went. So I recorded my first Universe Mode series. And I wanted it to base it on real life WWE. I didn't want to do a, you know, a lot of people ask me all the time, why don't you do Created Wrestler? Why don't you do, um, bring in this legend that hasn't wrestled in 20 years? Why don't you, you know, bring in the Hardcore Championship? Why don't you do, bring the Cruiserweight Championship? Why don't you do all these crazy things that you'll never see happen in the WWE? simple because I wanted to replicate my universe mode around real life WWE and I still do. Obviously I make the odd exception. I bring back a legend that hasn't appeared or can't wrestle anymore like Edge. I bring it back for one off or a couple off appearances. That's cool. But they don't stay full time. They don't they're not a mainstayer on the show. So I still kind of replicate it around 
um, real life WWE in some aspects, but obviously I do make the odd exception. So I went with that. That was my kind of my that was my plan for Universe Mode. I put it up on this channel, and I tell you what, the reception I got, I honestly couldn't believe it. Uh, I think I got like you know maybe 600 to a thousand views in the first day or two. And I got all these new likes, all these comments that I'd never received before. And most of all, I went from getting one subscriber a month on that channel, you know, being at 600 subscribers for at least six months, to getting 50 subscribers in two days, which was amazing, unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. I thought, I've stumbled across it. This is, this is me. This is it. This is what I need to do on my channel. This is my thing. Maybe this is for me. Maybe this is where my channel needs to go from here. So I put up another video. Did the same kind of numbers. More subscribers. People still loving it. People saying more, more, more. I want to see more. Put up another one the next day. More. We want to see more. I thought, oh my God, I got to keep doing more. This is great. This is fantastic. So I thought, well, I'm going to join the WWE community. WWE gaming community. So... I started getting involved. I started following other YouTubers, started looking up other YouTubers online, seeing who's around, seeing how many subscribers that people have. And I found out that I think at the time, Tubby Emu, who was a top YouTuber, still is now in the WWE community, I think he had 50,000 subscribers at the time. Maybe more, but I, I think my head says 50,000. And I thought, holy shit, the top guy in this community has 50,000 subscribers. Are you kidding me? There is a market for this. And the top guy only has 50,000. This is it. I'm, I've stumbled across the gold mine. I'm going to enter this community and I can have a successful channel because it's a small community. I can really find a lot of success. You know, I'm not entering a community where there's 5,000 people on like 100,000 subscribers each and some guys on a million. I'm entering a really small community that's wanting this content. But there's still ha not a lot of guys just doing it. So I, I really felt as though this is the right, this is it, you know, this is the, the right place and time for me. So I started getting in contact with a couple other guys. Um, you may know them, uh, Yellow. I did a GM mode series with him, but uh, I got in contact with him. And another guy, this one, really important to me and really important to Brendan Players, which I'm about to get into how I came about Brendan Players specifically. I'm still on the old channel here. Uh, I contacted him, and uh, he's a fellow Australian, so we instantly connected. I think he had 1,500 subscribers at the time. He no longer does YouTube, sadly, but he told me I had to make a new channel because I couldn't get YouTube partnership on my current channel, and I wanted the YouTube partnership so I could get the custom thumbnails because I knew the custom thumbnails would just make my videos easier to identify with, um, you know, it would just look better and more appealing. So, so immediately I'd be able to get more viewers and, you know, I guess in the end more subscribers out of having custom thumbnails. But I, I couldn't get it on my other channel because my, um, essentially I was blacklisted. I was banned from getting partnership and you had to get partnership at the time to get custom thumbnails. I was just bringing in the, the new system, but it still didn't count. I still couldn't get it. So it was a tough decision. I had just had gotten 700 subscribers. So I thought, wow, man, I've just got 100 new subscribers who want to see these videos. Do I make it? Do I make a new channel? It was the best decision that I ever made was making the new channel. It's the smartest decision. I made the new channel, and within, honestly, like two or three days, I already gotten 200 subscribers on the channel, something like that. You know, I reached out to some more guys like Mufta, um, Breezy Flash, uh, CM Puma, um, Ultra Verge, probably missing some actually I think that's probably about it um, oh Mr. Zebra Man I reached out to these guys who had was still relatively very small you know they I think Mufta maybe had 5,000 subscribers at the time um, so still very small these other guys had a few thousand each but they all helped me they all tweeted out my videos they all shouted me out they all gave me the start that I needed so I, I am forever in their debt for helping me out they helped me get to where I was they helped me get me a start so I had an initial subscriber base, I had these custom thumbnails. The first video on the Brendan Plays channel was Extreme Rules, so immediately I had a big video to start it off. The first pay-per-view was a long one, I was really worried about doing a long video, but it worked like a charm. 
So how did the Bread and Plays name specifically get made? So the name, the channel was made on the 1st of 2013. Well, I had to find a name, so I made the new channel. I had to figure a name. What was I going to call the new channel? I wanted something that was very easy to identify with. I didn't want numbers. I didn't want, you know, symbols. I didn't want, you know, I didn't want, you know, ridiculously, I don't know. I just didn't want a stupid name. I just wanted an easy name that you can figure it out. So instantly I kind of want, okay, I want Brendan. It's not going to happen. You know, if I could have the channel name Brendan, I would, but it couldn't happen. So I had to kind of think about it. What am I going to do? I wanted to have Brendan in my name because instantly you can identify with me. You know who I am. You know my name. I'm easy just to kind of recognize. So that was kind of like my goal. I wanted to have Brendan in my name. So how am I going to get something else? You know, I can't get Brendan. I don't want numbers. What can I do? So initially I didn't want to be just a WWE YouTuber. I still don't want to be a WWE YouTuber. I still want to do other videos, but realistically now I just enjoy doing WWE videos so much that, you know, I've, I've, I've just immersed myself in this community so much that I just don't really want to go out and do other video series. And as well as that, I don't really have any ideas. That's the problem with a lot of these games. You just can't think of any ideas that are going to be long-term series. You know, the NBA series, I've tried to do that. I just haven't really found what clicks with me yet. I'm hoping to find out with 2K15 when that drops. So I still do plan on doing other series. So I kind of wanted to do like, well, what about Let's Play? Like, you know, I'm looking at all these Let's Play channels. Okay, they play all these different games. I want to play all these different games. Okay, so... What about, like, I was going to think about doing, tiling my videos, like, Brendan plays this. I thought, wow, Brendan plays. That works, doesn't it? So, well, I'm like, all right. Well, so Brendan's playing uh, W2K15. That'd be the title of my videos. Why don't I just do Brendan plays as my channel name? So, yeah, that's exactly what I did. Brendan plays. I wanted the S. Originally, I was going to have the S. But it was uh, taken, I think. So, I couldn't get the S. I thought, well... I don't really want the Z because I didn't want to really, you know, like like a stupid name. But I thought, well, the Z kind of makes it pretty cool. Like, I don't know. It's different. I don't know. It works. So I went with the Z, went with my gut. Brendan Plays was the channel name. Very simple, very easy to identify with, and a name that I still like. Very happy I chose the name. I didn't want to get a name that I didn't like. That would be the worst thing in the world. So I got the Brendan Pl Plays name. Happy with it. And I just went from there. I was doing W13 Universe mode, and uh, my videos were getting, were slowly, you know, gaining more subscribers. Um, you know, I got YouTube partnership, I think, at the start of February, I think like the first few days in February. So just after a month, I got YouTube partnership. So it took like a week to process it. So in about three weeks, I replied and I got accepted. So in three weeks, I already got in partnership, which was my one goal. That, throughout my whole time on YouTube, it took me three weeks to accomplish that on a new channel. So I was like, man, are you kidding me? Obviously now the requirements to get partnership are ridiculously easy. Like some partnerships, sometimes you'll get partnered without even having a video on your channel. Just because you apply, you'll get partnered. So if you want to make videos and you want to get partnered, you know, it's just ridiculously easy, man. It's just crazy. You know, back in the day you needed like, you know, I don't know, like 50,000 views a day. You know, you needed a big subscriber base. You needed you know, to be successful. And um, now they just hand it out to everyone. So that's kind of like one of the little disappointing things about YouTube now, but still, whatever. You know, it gives more, you know, it gives a chance for more people to get involved. And, you know, you can't complain about that. More people making videos is good. You know, more variety, more people to choose from and more content to see. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate the game. But um, yeah, so I got the partnership and I just kind of went going, kept uh, going from there. I introduced the SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 GM mode. I got the game. I introduced that and I was having a ball with that and I just kind of went from there and um, I was going all through my universe mode series. I had introduced a few things that I thought were kind of created by and one of the things that really gave me a lot of success was the promo videos. So you now, now you see the promo videos very often on my series on my channel for 2K14. Um, you see me, you know, taking clips from the game, compiling them together, putting a bit of song over there. Now I talk over it as well, but um, yeah, so that kind of all came about. Just I just watched a WWE promo. I think I must have been watching a pay-per-view, an old one, and I just kind of went, hey, why don't I do a video like this for my universe mode? That'd be awesome. So 
I went with that and um, my first one I did was for Over the Limit. I tweeted it out, I messaged everyone I could, I was posting on the forums because I was so proud of it. I honestly thought that was the best video I'd ever made in my life. You know, it got over a thousand views for the first time. A video got a thousand views on my channel. You know, over a hundred likes for the first time on my channel. Um, it was amazing, just incredible. You know, amount of support, you know, like all these other YouTubers were, you know, liking it, even like Smack Talks, he liked it as well. So that was fantastic. Just so great to um, have accomplished something I was so proud of and other people really enjoyed it as well. So I went from there. I, every pay-per-view now, I really kind of focus on, focus on my promos because I feel as though the promo videos are some of the best work that I do. And um, I still enjoy doing the universe mode videos. And the thing that is the beauty of it is that it still basically is a commentary. I am commentating over the match, so the key formula that I had in the beginning of my videos, I still have now in my current videos. So I never really kind of strayed away from what I wanted to do, wanted to do in the beginning. It's just a different game, just a different environment. So I always, you know, it's always a good thing, you know, to kind of stick to your roots and um, to still be doing what I wanted to do originally, just on a different kind of game and setting, is is, is great. So. I went from there and um, I was doing WWE 13 videos, I got to SummerSlam and then 2K14 dropped. So 2K14 dropped and um, my channel just went boom, 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 boom. Um, it went from, I think I had 800 subscribers when 2K14 dropped, I managed to hit 2000 before the end of the year. So in that two month period, I went from 800 to 2000, which was crazy. Um, my whole goal on YouTube, apart from getting partnership, was to reach 1,000 subscribers. If I never got partnership, but if I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'd be one happy man. So I already had gotten partnership, but to have hit 1,000 was unbelievable. You know, that was one of the happiest days, you know, I'll say happiest days of my life because I felt so accomplished. I felt something I've been striving to achieve for over three years now finally came. Finally, I had hit the one thing that I've been striving out to do for such a long time. It finally came. It felt amazing. It was just a huge kind of relief, you know. I just, wow, I got it. And then I asked myself, what now? Do I keep going? Do I keep doing this? And the answer was yes. Let's just keep going. Let's. I'm enjoying it. I, this new game is awesome. I love it. Let's keep going. And I did. And, um, you know, my channel just kept going from there. And... You know, along the way, I introduced the Let's Talk Tuesday series, which was a series that I really wanted to do. And I waited until I had enough kind of subscribers to really do it because I always wanted to do like a Q&A on wrestling. And I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on wrestling because I'm a very opinionated person. And um, I wanted just to, you know, give my take on things. Um, but I really wanted to like have your answer, your questions answered from me. So I didn't just didn't want to have me talking about whatever the hell I wanted to talk about. And at the beginning, I did do that, and I still plan on doing that now. I just, you know, I just need the topic that will interest me that will cover a whole episode. So if that comes about, then I'll do it. But um, yeah, so you guys started sending me in the sending me in these questions, and I was answering them, and I was just, you know, having a blast. So that series has been going really, really well. More more views than I kind of expected on it. And uh, the questions get better every single day. And, you know, we cover a lot of good stuff in there, I think. And it's a good content. I think you guys really kind of respond to it very, very well. So I really appreciate all that. And I think the beauty of it is I've only missed one Tuesday since I started it. And I think I'm up to episode 20 on it. I think next week will be episode 20. So um, we've done well. So to only miss one episode in five months is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know why I missed it. I think I might have been away. I don't know. But uh, so, I tell you what, I was so disappointed when I missed that Tuesday. I felt so bad. I was like, man, I, fuck. I just missed the first Tuesday. Can't believe this, man. This sucks. But, um, yeah, so we just kind of kept going from there and uh, kind of fast forward to now. I mean, we had the WrestleMania 30 pay-per-view and um, I think, I, what was I, 5,000 subscribers around when... I was working on WrestleMania 30, and unbelievable. WrestleMania 30, it was crazy. I, that couple of weeks there when WrestleMania was going, 
best, you know, honestly, you know, I gained like 3,000, 4,000 subscribers from WrestleMania 30. Unbelievable. I, I wanted to hit 25,000 views on the video. I put so much work into WrestleMania 30. It took me a week, probably nearly a week, week and a half to finish WrestleMania 30, and I was working on it many, many hours every day, and it takes a long time to do a video. On average, kind of like, to do a video will take four hours, so, but that's not real four hours of me actually working on it, but uh, four hours to kind of, you know, render it and upload it, things like that, but, uh, you know, to, to record the video, probably half an hour, to edit the video, I don't do a lot of editing on my video, only on promo videos, which takes a couple of hours to do, but the editing on my, you know, universe mode videos, it takes about 10 minutes, so to put it all together and then commentate over it, that takes however long the video is. So it may take an hour to actually make the video itself, and then it's just the waiting game to render and everything like that. So to make videos spe it specifically is not that long, but WrestleMania, a three hour long video, you had so many clips to put in, so many other things to put in as well, it just took a long time to get that video out. And by the time I actually finished WrestleMania 30, I wanted to give YouTube up, I wanted to quit. Honestly, I said to myself, if this video does not do well, I am done because I just put my life and soul into this video. Three hours long, I busted my ass to try and get it as good as it possibly could be. I had stuff up after stuff up, you know, problem after problem, that always happens. But after a long two week process, WrestleMania 30 was up and it just went huge. The views were amazing, blew it out of the park. I think I hit 20,000 views on the video in like a day or something, two days. Unbelievable, so many new subscribers, just went crazy, just went huge. And you know, I couldn't believe it, man. I went from a guy who had 5,000 subscribers, I thought, okay, yeah, my channel's going okay. Now I thought, wow, man, my channel is gone huge, you know. And now, here I am now. So we just had the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. I tried the NBA 2K14 series, I just dropped that. And um, along the way, another thing I forgot to mention was the creation of BrennanPlays.com. So the website, how did that come about? Well, the website, I actually made that in the intention of having a much bigger YouTube channel. I'm talking 50 to 100,000 subscribers. So I thought, well, I need to have the domain name now. I need to have BrennanPlays.com as the name now, just in case some asshole takes it in the future if I do happen to get bigger. So I wanted to grab the name now, I thought, well, I may as well just make a website, and if people want to check it out, they'll check it out, and that was kind of it. I wanted to just to showcase all my videos that I uploaded, put them on the website, and link them to YouTube. So if I just put up a new universe in my video, it'll be up on my website, you can go on brendanplays.com, and there it is, all my latest videos on my three channels that I own, because I do have three other ch two other channels, um, Brendan's Platinums, which I do platinum videos, and uh, trophy guides and things like that, and, and walkthroughs. Um, that's kind of an inactive channel, but I'm still trying to like work on it. I just don't have the time to do it, really. And then Brendan Sims, where I do um, videos of me talking about um, upcoming paid rematches. matches. I get my thoughts and opinions on that. I used to do them on this channel, but it was kind of a bit of a clutter, and I didn't kind of want that on my channel. I just kind of put it separate, so if you want to hear it, it's there. So the website kind of was the culmination of all the videos I've been putting together, put it into one, one great place just to find everything to do with me, and that was it. And then I thought, well, why not get a forum? You know, I went on some other uh, forums, and I thought, well, you know, I actually do kind of go on wrestling forums quite a lot, and um, the community on some wrestling forums are absolutely dreadful. I mean, you can't find one positive thing about anything on those forums. It just was such a drag. You know, I wanted to go on there and see what people were talking about, but it's just so hard to kind of read the crap they come up with. And I just wanted to make a nice little community, you know, people who like me, people who like wrestling, we can come along, we can shoot the, shoot the breeze about whatever. And that's what I did. I made the forum, and I, I tell you what, I put a lot of work into this forum. It's kind of like my baby right now. It's kind of like the thing I'm really, really proud of. And, uh, you know, we've got over 200 members on the forum now, which is amazing, and we have just a really tight-knit community right now, and we just love for everyone to come on there and check it out and, and join the forum and join join the community, the Brennan Place community. It's just a, a lot of fun, and, you know, I put a lot of work in there, and it's, a lot of good stuff is going on the forum. And, you know, the website itself doesn't look so pretty because I'm no website designer. I don't know how to make a good website. I was just Googling and doing everything by myself, you know, as I go. 
So everything I've kind of done is all been by me. I've never had any help kind of making these websites or anything like that. So the forum, you know, I've actually acquired a pretty good looking forum, I think. I think my forum looks really, really nice. So I'm really proud of what I produced there. And, you know, everyone on the forum just kind of loves it. So, you know, I really feel as though making a website and going that extra step further than just a YouTube channel was a really good step in the right direction for me. And myself, personally, it kind of legitimizes my YouTube channel a little bit more. And, you know, of course, you can just have a Twitter and a Facebook page. Yes, social media. But then you create a website. So it's another way people can find you, another way people can associate you. And um, I think it's just a, a good move on, on my behalf, you know. And I think, you know, if you're an aspiring YouTuber and you've got yourself a good subscriber base, having a website's a good way to go about it and kind of take the extra step. So yeah, and um, you know, we just had the Extreme Rules pay-per-view and um, right now we're, I'm just kind of waiting it out. I'm just doing my Universe Mode videos. I still got a lot of good ideas for my Universe Mode series. A lot of people think, well, are you gonna stop doing Universe Mode when 2K15 drops? Hell no, I'm not. When 2K15 comes out, my channel will have Career Mode. A lot of people have been asking me that and I will have Universe Mode. So 2K15 is gonna be huge for my channel. Huge for everyone's channel in the W community. I honestly believe that this is gonna be the biggest WWE game of all time. So I'm so amped, I'm so excited to see what this game produces and I've really got high expectations for it. Because of that, you know, I really feel as though a lot more people are gonna be checking out WWE community, uh, WWE gaming videos. So that'll help me out. And I hope people do check out my videos. So I'm really amped up, I'm really excited to see what the future has for my channel. And uh, I'm just enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I just kind of look forward to waking up every morning and checking out my YouTube comments. I read every single comment on my YouTube channel, guys. I read every single tweet, every single Facebook message. Um, I read it all. Sometimes I don't respond to it, but I do read it. And, um, you know, it's just, a, it's just amazing to actually think, you know, people actually like stuff that I'm producing. Because I'm just your regular... Australian kid, man. I, I'm no big deal. I'm no nothing. You know, some people kind of talk to me like I'm a big deal. You're like, oh my god, I'm talking to random players. I cannot believe it. But like, <laughs> who am I? I'm just some regular dude. I, you know, it's crazy that people actually kind of think I'm something. But I suppose, you know, I've got 10,000 subscribers. I've gained a little bit of, you know, fame, I suppose. I don't see myself as anything other than just a regular dude. And I think that's the attitude you got to take. You know, I am a nobody, and I will always be a nobody, and that's fine with me, but um, I just kind of enjoy playing WWE games, and I like sharing what I do on them, so I like playing Universe Mode, and I really wanted to recreate my own fantasy WWE, and uh, do that on 2K14, so even if I don't enjoy the WWE product, which sometimes I didn't, towards in 2012, it was a bit of a drag to watch it, 2013 was better, and I enjoy it this year as well, but... Uh, Sometimes you just can't watch it, and um, it's nice to be go to be able to go away and create my own little WWE on Universe Mode and have my own little fantasy play out. And you guys watch my um, watch my stories that I make, watch the, my rivalries I make, watch the ma matches that I record. It's just great to be able to do that and share that to you guys. And um, it's great to actually know that people enjoy it and watch it. I can't believe that people even watch my videos. It's a, it's a mystery to me. But for some reason, you guys check it out. And, you know, it means the world to me. It's uh, it's amazing that to know that I have 10,000 people that have liked my videos enough to want to click subscribe. I honestly don't know why, but uh, it's amazing. So... My goal for the end of this year would be hit 20,000. You're probably thinking, man, you're going to want to double your subscriber count before the end of the year. I think it can be done. I'm probably predicting that I will hit 20,000, and that would be amazing if I could. So for me to get there, I need you guys to spread the word about my channel. Tell a friend about Brendan Plays. You know, if they like wrestling, I'm sure they will like my channel in some kind of way, whether it's GM mode, Universe mode, or even my Let's Talk Tuesday series. You know, I'm sure they'll get something out of my channel. And, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to making videos for you guys, trying to entertain you guys. I'm trying to figure out some more new exciting ways to implement that into my YouTube channel, my website, my forum. I'm always looking to expand and think of other creative ideas to use. And um, I'm hoping to further improve my editing skills, my graphic skills, and, you know, make better videos for you guys. That's my goal. I'm hoping I can do that. I hope I've entertained you some guys somewhat throughout you know, whatever time you've been watching my videos, and um, 
I thank you all so much for subscribing. 10,000 subscribers. Like I said, unbelievable, amazing achievement. Very, very proud. You know, I haven't really achieved that many great things in my life, but I really feel as though this is something I've worked so hard to achieve and to have gotten more than I expected out of it is amazing. So guys, that'll do it from me. I hope you guys sat through this and enjoyed the history of Brennan Plays. It really interests me. I hope it interested you as well. Guys, thank you so much for 10,000. I can't wait to see you guys more in my new videos. Make sure if you want to get in touch with me even more, check out the website. Stay connected with Brandon Plays. I really appreciate that. Guys, once again, 10,000. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.